Hi, we're Joy and Larry, and we're living life loud. During the summer of 2022, we rode our motorcycles from Arizona to Alaska. Come join our journey. In this episode, we ride approximately 450 miles from Seward to Valdez with an overnight stay in Palmer, where we visit the historic Independence Mine. Hatcher Pass is a magnificent mountain pass through the southwest part of the Taquitna Mountains, between the towns of Palmer and Willow. It is a favorite local hotspot for recreation and scenic drives. We were first told about Hatcher Pass by several motorcyclists we met on our way to Prudhoe Bay. Independence Mine State Historical Park is a large abandoned gold mine that sits at the top of Hatcher Pass. Independence Mine was actually two mines until 1938 when the two merged and became the second most productive hard rock gold mine in Alaska. At its peak, it employed 204 workers, blasted nearly 12 miles of tunnels, and recovered over 34,000 ounces of gold, worth about $18 million today. Independence Mine State Historical Park was established in 1980 and offers visitors a fascinating look at Alaska mining history while viewing some spectacular mountain scenery. This area is extremely popular for backpacking, hiking, and berry picking in the summer, and skiing, snowboarding, and sledding in the winter.
We met up with my dear friend Leslie, whom I haven't seen in more than a decade. We had a great time exploring the mine with her and her son Jay. After we finished visiting the mine, we rode for about 30 minutes to the town of Palmer where we got a hotel for the night. Valdez was not originally part of our plan, but was highly recommended by some friends for the gorgeous scenery on the way, such as waterfalls, glaciers, and riding through rock canyons. We found the scenery quite breathtaking, and it was well worth the trip. Okay. Sit down. We ate at the Fat Mermaid restaurant, which came highly recommended by a local. 
We were also told that we needed to try the purple cake, which was her favorite. It wasn't our favorite. While in Valdez, we stayed at the Keystone Hotel. It was originally built in 1989 as an emergency operations oh, center for Exxon down. during the Valdez oil spill. It was purchased in 1993 and converted into a hotel. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you on the next episode.